Welcome to the finals. Let's go ahead and play first. And this hand, well, I'm not gonna mull it. I do have this and this, which are four and five mana, but with two lands I play this, play this, and with one more land I get to play the Basilic Guard. So I think I am okay with keeping this. Alright. Our opponent also kept his initial seven. Alright, he's white as well. Okay, this is a pretty good one, but I do need lands. <laughs> Let's play the Skyjack first and foremost, since it does hit harder than the Aristocrat. So our opponent is Boros, huh? Alright. Okay, that's pretty good for us. Let's go ahead and bash with the skyjack see if he blocks if he blocks we can play a camping spat if he doesn't block i guess we are going to play a basilica there still need more lands here i really do want to to draw an extra land next turn because then i get to play the kingpin's pad and drain him for one in the next turn i mean the turn after that i get to play cartel aristocrat and drain him for two so it's gonna be pretty good for me, I should say. Alright, he played a Boros Key Room. No reason for him to attack here yet. Alright, that's excellent. So let's bash with the Skyjack, see if he if he blocks it this time. I I think he will. Alright, he did not. Interesting. So let's play the pad and drain him. So he's at 13 already and we are up to 21. I think if he attacks I definitely block the Basilica Guard. <clears throat> Alright, the Richie Tiger to gain him some life. It's gonna be annoying but oh well. Alright, this is pretty awesome. So, let's attack with both our guys here, then drain him for two. Do we play a 1000 Lashes? Man, he's gonna take it. Geez, so he's down to eight. Which means that if we play a 1000 Lashes on his Richie Tiger, that's gonna be pretty, pretty nice, isn't it? Uh, and can act activated abilities can cannot be activated so yeah I feel fine doing that he will not be able to gain any life here and we will get to kill him next turn hopefully unless he plays something like a Aurelius Fury or some such nonsense. We're gonna lose one life during his upkeep. Let's see what he does. He's not gonna be able to activate his battalion right now as he plays a haste guy and still has enough mana to activate his key rune. I guess we shall see. Alright, Towering Thunderfist. So that means he's probably not just dead, right? Uh, yeah, let's play the Aristocrat. Or maybe he is. Nah, not really. I'm gonna drain him for two right now. He's gonna lose one life during his upkeep. And I will deal two damage to his face by attacking with my Kingpin's pet. going to go down to two now down to one and then we should just play one spell here and extort him for the remaining point of all of life my 
My friend is just telling me here that he has just opened a Domri Rade. And I'm jealous, of course. Let's drain him for two. Alright, the fact that we faced a Boros deck uh, with and ended up with 25 life, almost 26, makes me, me happy. <laughs> Let me just put it that way. Again, there's nothing that I really wanted to bring in here. Maybe a dirty full thrall. Especially if I'm on the draw, right? Could bring in a death's approach too, but I don't think that's gonna be necessary. The problem is what do I take out to bring in a, a throw? The throw is also cool that it costs only one mana, so even in the late game if I have a couple of extorters out, I can go ahead and get some value out of it. But yeah, I think it's okay. I mean Gift of Force is pretty good against him, obviously. Yeah, I think I'm okay with this thing. I Let's just hope I do not uh, get mana screwed here. I guess that would be one of the ways that I could lose this. But I think overall, uh, Orzov decks, good Orzov decks, should have a pretty good matchup against Boros decks. Alright, no, I'm not gonna mold this man. See what he does. If he does a turn two guy, I can go ahead and. Ooh, dirtyful throw. <laughs> That's awesome. I can go ahead and play a Orzov Charm on his 3 2. Ooh, yeah. That guy's gonna get Orzov Charmed. Definitely. Or is it? Let's see. I think he could attack. If I attack and he blocks, then I get to Orzov Charm this guy. If he takes, I get to play a Daring Skyjack. No, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and play Daring Skyjack. No reason. I really wanna do that. I don't wanna play Orzov Charm right now since I. And he probably would block. The reason that I considered attacking there was that if he blocks, I could just. Represent that card that gives plus one plus one flying in first strike, and then he would lose his guy. And it is a pretty good guy, that. So I'd rather just play the Skyjack, and next turn, let's see what he does. He's probably gonna attack and just not pump his guy and play another thing. Let's hope he does pump his guy, though. Because then we get to resolve charming and attack freely. Alright, War Mine Infantry. That is a pretty good one too. So, do I attack with my Skyjack? I suppose I do. He, he's not gonna block, not in a million years, I, I don't think. Yes, guess I was right. So let's probably a denizen so that we can get battalion next turn if we need to if we draw into a land we can play assault griffin tap one of his guys I mean we are going to take 4 damage right now make no mistake or maybe he's just gonna play defense I'm not sure I did get a pretty good start here he does not know what my hand looks like and that I need, you know, lands to make stuff happen here, but... Well... Attacking with both, that's okay. Can't take all of that. Let's see what he plays. I think I most definitely should just go ahead and destroy this guy. Shouldn't I? Alright, that's a key rune. Sure. Hmm, Skyjack. Skyjack is actually pretty good. I mean, he could block the Denizen. Nah, 
he can't since you know I'm gonna tap this guy so I think that's okay and I can block this guy here if he attacks next turn that's bash <clears throat> I really do hope he transforms his key room just to attack me because this way I'm just going to take 4 damage because I get I get to block his infantry and then I get to deal 6 damage back to, to his face he goes down to 5 I'll be sitting comfortably at 10 <clears throat> let's see maybe he's not going to attack I guess he should attack since you know attacking with both these guys and this thing it's gonna be pretty hard for him to do anything here alright so he did attack that is pretty interesting let's see he's at 11 if I destroy his, his guy with my Orzov charm next turn I get to leave the throw back get to leave the throwback and attack with attack 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 yeah maybe he's definitely gonna play something else right nah I think I'm just gonna go ahead and block his guy I'm worried that I get to a low enough life total that I become no longer able to play my rose of charm or oh, maybe he's gonna just pump his guy yeah so I take six damage here no just four so he plays something else all right fire fist striker hmm so do I attack with all of my guys here I guess I could destroy his true fire paladin and attack with all my guys I'll take two go down to eight he gets to deal four down to four to my face next turn and maybe a yeah Boros charm will just finish me off that does not seem good enough I guess what I'm gonna do is just attack with my skyjack if he wants to trade then he can but right now I feel like I gotta do this if he attacks I will probably just block his true fire paladin with my denizen so that he becomes forced to give his guy first strike and then in, in response I get to Orzov Charming so the Orzov Charming is gonna become a nice time walk there Let's see. Alright. Let's block. He may suspect something is amiss here. So he may just let my guy trade. let's see alright so that worked out I guess so next turn if I draw land I get to play an assault griffin did not draw land but oh well it's still okay for us to just go ahead and bash his face in here since we did draw into another removal spell that can destroy his key room no less Alright, the Richie Tiger, I can destroy that as well. Awesome. That's the planes. 
I guess it's okay for me to play a Bellastrade Spy right now, since next turn, what, depending on what he plays, I will get to <clears throat> play uh, a white card, and that is the Assault Griffin, and tap one of his guys. In this way, I also have a guy that can survive combat with a Boros Key Rune. He's probably going to play the Giant, 4-4 four, four Giant right now, and then he's just going to be dead. Let's see. Alright. I see what he did there. He did something nice there. And that is not playing anything so that he can actually block. Because whatever creature I play here would get to tap whatever he has. So now that he has the only the Boris Kiruna, I don't get to tap it. But that's okay. Ooh, 1000 lashes. Alright, well. Still gonna bash his face in here, I guess. <clears throat> so he's going to transform his key room, block my 2-2. Two -two. Okay. He's gonna lose his key run as well, which is fine. And then I can go ahead and play an Assault, assault Griffin. So now he has two flyers to deal with. Let's hope he doesn't splash for something like a Guru Charm here. <laughs> oh, but he does splash for something. That's a, a Swamp he got there. Let's see what he has. He's saying too late, the Swamp. GG. I'll say GG too. I wonder what, what he had. Maybe a removal spell. Alright, so... We got there. Nice QP here too. And a Mythic. Alright, thanks for watching and see you next time.